come back from the gym and I've decided to do a huge clear out. Look at this shit. What have I started? Help me. Why did I start this? I'm trying on trousers in the mirror. These are all my trousers. I need to try and fit them in there. Why did I start this? I'm whispering because the kids are in bed. Do I keep these? Or not? Okay guys, I'm done. I literally tried on like every pair of trousers that I have. It's all going. The idea that I'm, I'm trying to basically get myself down to seven things of each item. So like seven jumpers, seven jackets, seven tops, seven hoodies. But it's proving pretty impossible. If I'm honest with you, I need to tackle next the hoodies and I'm dreading that because I want to keep them all. I just love all my hoodies. I'm literally like a sweatshirt and hoodie collector, which is weird. Also I'm moving Sid into this room so his clothes are coming into this room so that's another reason for the clear out. I need to, to, to make space for Sid so like up there that's all Sid's clothes. I cleared that rail for him. Bravo me. I've decided that I want to change up the styling in this room. So one of the reasons I love this room um, and when I designed it with Sharps I specifically decided, decided to pick something that would match any kind of theme I wanted to style and accessorize the room with. So right now, I mean, you can't tell because it's a mess, but we went for these kind of neutrals, beiges, the jute rug, very kind of clean and not busy at all. And I just feel like I grew up around Persian rugs and lots of print and lots of pattern, lots of clashing. And that's just always been me. And whilst I love this style, I feel like it's time to go back to just like the interior kind of style that I love. So I went to Ikea actually and I bought myself a massive Persian rug. I feel like I want a circular mirror. I want a bigger mirror there. So I'm going to take this one off and I went and bought a big, large, round mirror. You're right there. He's just been messing about the whole time. Are you okay? Look at this cat content. He was chilling in this basket for a while. <laughs> By the way, look at that shiny black and white thing in the back there. That is a belly dancing dress. Tusi was going to chuck it out, and I was like, girl, no, sometimes I'm going to go in my room, put some music on and belly dance in front of the mirror, and I need it for that. <laughs> Don't bite me. Yeah, look, he's learning to be gentle and lick instead of bite now. Don't ruin my stool. Don't ruin my stool. Good morning, guys. I am going to pick up me sister so we can go to the gym. But I can't remember how to get to her house. There we go. Ten minute drive, you what? Don't want to be late to the gym, do I? No. You can see all that stuff in the back of my car. My seats have been put down because I've been helping Tusi move all week. But also, we found old, old school papyrus from when we were like younger. Because my dad used to have a stall and he used to sell papyrus. And we found loads of rolls of them and so I decided to have some and then I'm gonna give the rest to my dad obviously he said he wants them back so he can have them back looking at like papyrus a lot recently because of a project I'm working on actually but I can't tell you really anything about it but I've been inspired a lot by ancient Egypt as opposed to just Egypt which is where I'm from well I'm half Egyptian hopefully today I can finish my room put the rug in and stuff like that 
Um, I'm really excited because I don't know if I mean you guys probably know. Oh, I forgot to put my other earring in. I'm walking around with one earring. Oh well, swag. Who says swag anymore? Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Oh, I got some food in my mouth. By the way, it's like 9 a.m. Not that you needed to know. So yeah, me and Sid, before we bought this house, we were moving like at least once a year, weren't we? And it's because we didn't know where we wanted to settle, but it is also because we get bored so easily. And one of my worries when we bought a house was, we're obviously gonna be stuck in this house for a while. There's no point in buying one otherwise. And I was just worried that I was gonna be bored of the house. But at the same time, it's my house, so I can do anything that I want to it in terms of like decoration. The renovation's going quite slow. I don't really want to like do anything crazy in my current room because I, I still love the wardrobes and the, the design of it, but I just needed to change it. Like I'm just always changing my mind in terms of like, oh, putting a cushion here, throw here, changing the rugs. I'm always switching up my rugs, literally weekly if I could. Constantly, constantly changing my mind. And that isn't just for interior. It's mainly for interior and houses. It's really for houses. Houses and office space, oh my God, I get bored so quick. But other things in my life, I do get, I do get, I love to change. I love change. I'm not one of those people who like, likes to be settled doing, and like the same thing happening. I like to change my um, location or my, my living space up all the time. I'm always bored of it, I'm always changing my mind. And so I feel like, I was thinking, talking about this with Tusi. Me and Tusi have deep talks all the time and that's why we think we should do a podcast together, by the way. We're actually gonna trial doing some podcast stuff while she's living in Cardiff. Hopefully anyway, we'll see, because we're both just so busy. Um, but we feel like it's because growing up we were constantly moving as well like we were born in Egypt lived in Egypt actually when we were born in Egypt and lived in Egypt that was the only time we were like actually quite settled for uh, up till we were like six or something maybe it was seven I can't remember um, but then after that we literally moved all the time and we're so used to like having to make friends in new schools and stuff like that and I feel like that's also another reason why I don't really get attached to uh, friends I don't get that attached like I, I can happily live without them it sounds horrible to say that but I, I enjoy their company and I do miss them but at the same time I'm very very content without them it might be also because obviously we've got a big family mashallah I don't know I just feel like it's the way we grew up we always had to move and meet new people so it's kind of just like and now I'm like this person who just always wants to move so the only thing I can do now is just change up my setting in the house. So yeah, that's just a little bit of a backstory. Time to work out! Check out this papyrus, guys. If I just take out like a few pieces to show you, because I'm in love. I need to figure out how to frame some of these. Look at these paintings. This one is Sunny Sid. Did I show you this one? But look at the detail. Mama. Sorry, the kids are watching here. You want more crisps? Yum. Love this one. Tusi got a similar one to this, but absolutely huge. She bagsied it before me, even though I'm the one who said I wanted the papyrus, but she bagsied it for her new flat house dining. Thinking of doing a papyrus wall somewhere, just not sure where. Bastet, the cat! By the way, big clue, super inspired by this one in particular. It represents fertility and like motherhood and stuff. Do you like it, Mika the cat? Say meow. Meow. <laughs> Look at this! Oh, it's this way. <laughs> Have a look, have a look. Yes, yeah, did you see these at Juicy? A tiger, a tiger. You find a tiger? And these are ancient Egyptian paintings. Look at all the detail, guys. So inspired. I was literally spent hours the other week reading up, this. reading up about what each kind of drawing means. Do you like this one? Yeah. And um, papyrus plant. Oh, is that the lotus? I can't remember. I love these ancient Egyptian plants. I've been inspired by them for years. You like that one too? I think it's the queen. You like that one too? Yeah. I, this looks amazing. Imagine we hung that up. I love it. My tiger. You like tiger. tiger? Yeah? Let's roll this one up, shall we? We just came back from Ikea after the gym and I had to buy the Ikea ketchup and mustard because I also bought the frozen veggie hot dogs and the bread to go with it, so I'm going to have that for lunch. I just love Ikea food. Who knows about these? Look how big. The best. Huh? 
I'm talking to Yuki. Yuki? Yes, Yuki just oh. unscrew all her shelves so she can pack them in the car. What are you doing? <laughs> Little cocktail stick? Oh, very good, very good. Guys, if you have kids who are fussy with fruit or veg or whatever, give them cocktail sticks. It makes it more fun, isn't it, Hannah? You guys just had a bowl of bananas like that as well. Tip of the day, cocktail sticks. Have you guys um, noticed my new rug in the corner there? That's right, got a new rug. Hold on, let me close the window, it's quite loud. What am I going to do? Oh, I was going to put makeup on. Sorry, I'm a bit all over the place. I've got a meeting this morning, even though my mind is on holiday and like lockdown mode. Because obviously we've just had another lockdown announcement. Woohoo! But this time around I've decided lockdown 2.0 loungewear is going to be... Same as before. So this is the rug I chose. How much nicer does it make the room look already like? Do you know what I mean? It's already so much more cozy. And then I went and picked up this plant. Just put it in the corner there. I'm gonna, I was gonna get another one. I was gonna go back to Ikea and get one, but lockdown, which means it's closed. So I'm gonna have to wait on that. Um, these are just clothes that I was wearing yesterday. I need to put them away. Um, I picked up this denim cushion cover, which I thought was stunning. I was gonna go back to Ikea and get a third one to go on either side of this. But I can't now, so I have another pink one, so I'm just going to bring that in here. And then new mirror! This is the new mirror, guys! Why? Who zoomed? Wow, magic. Adding a bit of warmth into the room, making it a lot more cosy. And that's actually literally it so far. Oh, I also ordered a... Um, see all the clothes hanging on the back of my door? I don't like that. That needs to go. It's just cluttering my mind. Don't like it. So I actually ordered like an Ottoman storage um, bench a round one to go in the middle of this rug and originally I, I ordered a like burnt orange one to go in the middle for some reason the payment didn't go through and then I went to order it again and they were like oh it doesn't deliver to your address so I'm guessing something happened with that so in the end I bought a grey one which I'm not too fussed about but I got it because it was a two-day delivery thing and I just want it now so I might like put like a burnt orange throw on it and stuff like that but I'll show you that guys when it arrives it should arrive today or tomorrow I'm not sure look at Chip just constantly messing you're gonna strangle yourself buddy that's a hazard all right still haven't opened up my GHD goodies which I'm gonna open up next time I wash my hair actually Don't know if I told you guys that I now have one step brow routine and it's literally just getting, um, I have a couple of like different brow products. This is e.l.f. Cosmetics Wow Brow. But I also use the Benefit, oops, I also use Benefit um, Gimme Brow. And I literally just brush my brows up, that's all I do. Hello then. She's gonna be rude. Listen to that purr. You can't hear it. <laughs> Isn't that so freaky? Guys, do you remember a time when I never ever used the eyelash curler? Well, let me tell you something. Shiseido, Shiseido, however you say it, is the only brand I have found one that actually works, and that's this one from Shiseido. I already have a lash lift, but when my lash lift was wearing out, I thought, oh, hold on a minute, why don't I just try and extend this lash lift for a bit longer by curling them? And it really bloody works. It gave me like an extra month on my lash lift, I thought, so... I am on eyelash curlers now. Made way through doing my makeup, Sid comes back. I'm so excited because he got the new drinks from Costa. Orange. Terry chocolate orange. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Hot they chocolate. give you free chocolate too, they give you a free after eight. What else? Why are you so excited, bro? <laughs> Do you want to oh, taste I the Terry's taste chocolate orange? Terry's chocolate orange, here goes. Okay then. Just do your thing then. 
Tastes like regular hot chocolate with a hint of orange. Oh. Not really Terry's. Let's taste um, after eight. That was um, surprisingly Mama, underwhelming. Can I, can I sit on the sofa with it? Yes, you can. I'll bring you the coffee table. Is this the mint one? Yeah. All right, let's try the mint one. God, these are a bit shit, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's underwhelming. I will have that then. Definitely will finish that later. <laughs> um, you know, late at night, guys, when you're like trying to go to sleep, do any of you start like um, inventing stuff in your head? Because, like, I do. And I was thinking about how. Where are those things gone, man? What the hell? Where the. Oh, I know. I was thinking about how um, I struggle with having flat hair at the top, like, just no volume in my hair. And what? how could I solve that? For me you know and then i started thinking about all the kind of products i have and like the hair extension stuff i have and then i started thinking about where are they then i started thinking about um where are they oh my god am i just losing my mind like what's what is this am i actually just losing my mind somebody took them i'm fuming where are they Who's been in my drawer? That's what I want to know. Oh my god, guys. I don't think anyone's ever seen me angry. Like, you lot definitely haven't seen me ang angry, angry. But it's about to go down in a minute. Oh my god, I'm fuming. Honestly, where? I'll be back in a minute. Found what I was looking for. Sorry, it's about to go absolutely mad now, just then. Sorry, not your fault at all. Anyway, I'm just so angry recently. I don't know if it's because second lockdown or I'm just a bitch. Honestly, I don't know. Anyway, let's get some earrings out and then I'll tell you what I was going to tell you before I was rudely interrupted by my anger. Do you ever invent things in the middle of the night when you can't sleep? Because I do. And obviously they never come into light, like ever. I was thinking about, basically I was thinking, oh, how should, can I create volume, blah, 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 without back combing, blah, 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 without wearing extensions, blah, blah, blah. Then I was thinking about, you know the U extension? The one that kind of is a U shape and it fits around the U shape of your head. I was thinking about that and I was like, imagine if I made that, but it just had like um, Velcro and kind of netting on it in the same color of your hair and that kind of went under the first layer. That would give me the volume that I needed. So then I was like, oh wow, I'm a genius. Um, let me see if someone's made something like that, blah, 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 start Googling loads of stuff. And then obviously I come across something that's already been made and I was like, well, clearly I'm not needed. So then I went and bought these. And I found these on Amazon. They're not exactly what I had pitched, what I was thinking about, but still the same idea. Um, it's a little clip, it's very basic. And then it's like a, Velcro thing on top. So basically you just get a piece of your hair wherever you want the volume. I mean, it would be a good idea to brush your hair first. You clip it in. Bear in mind I haven't actually, I'm yet to try these, but they look great. Clip it in there, you see that? And then you cover it with your hair. Obviously do it much neater. And then it gives you volume. Look at that, it's right there. That compared to this side. I think it's amazing and your hair basically just kind of gets stuck on the top of it. Very comfortable, very lightweight. I haven't brushed my hair. Do you know what? Let me just brush my hair, clip all these in. I'm only going to use like four of them. They do hurt a little bit when you take them out because it's proper Velcro on your hair. So you've got to be careful. Ow, shit. I mean, it's literally cheap shit off Amazon. But this is the kind of thing that works. Nothing is simple. Nothing is ever Got one there, one here, and one just at the back of my head, back there. And I feel like it really works, guys. And it's so lightweight. Once they're in, you can't feel them, but you do have to like brush your hair over them in place. Thought I'd show you because if you're always struggling with volume at the top of your head, I even considered getting a um, crown lift. Not crown, sorry. I've even considered getting a root perm. I can't get a perm. Guys, I would love to get a perm. Like, I want, like, for, like a real perm. Like, I want to just make my hair curly. I would love to do that because my hair is just has no shape in it. It's pretty dead, to be fair. 
I mean, I can pretty much get a tiny wave if I try hard out the shower, but it's more effort than just curling my hair, so what's the point? And um, this literally here is like my natural hair, like this. No shape. So, yeah, I thought I'd show you that. I've shown it to you guys now, so I'm going to go have my meeting. Okay. Oh, okay. I think that would look better too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Change the image there. Yeah. yeah. Oh my days, what are you doing here? Let's finish the meetings about an hour and a half long. We just finalised some of the labels for I Like Me. Mama, you and, know? yeah. I like Big Hannah. Adult Hannah, the one that used to work with us. Yeah, I like Adult Hannah. She lives in another country now, Adult Hannah. I like her as well. But she might be back, maybe. I, I like Adult Hannah so much because her name is Hannah as well. Hannah's on FaceTime to Tusi. In real but life. But I just wanted to let Hannah you know well. that we have agreed That's on a true. launch date for I Like, like Me, finally. And it is soon. No, your name is Tusi. You're lying on me. You always I'm lie. not going to tell you the official date yet, but that might be very, very soon. <laughs> Fingers crossed we get everything done that we need to oh, beforehand. Oh, oh, oh. So that is so exciting, guys, because I'm going to be in nothing but I Like Me. When did you realise that you had a wobbly tooth? Um, when I bit the carrot and I feel something funny like two lines and then I, I, I thought it was a wobbly tooth when it was, I wobbled my tooth and it wobbled in there and I knew that it was a wobbly tooth. It didn't take that long, it only came out when we were eating the roasting at Samo's house. I know. What are you doing Tizzy? meant to be working but I'm bored and I'm going to do a bit more work and finish some stuff and then I'm just going to, I want to do something, I want to go out. And when are we doing our podcast? So, uh, this is my tooth. And Hannah's tooth. And it, it used to be right here. Good morning guys. Basically, I just wanted to come on here um, to let you know that I'm really annoyed not annoyed i'm just a little bit i am annoyed do you know when i talked to you about um found ottoman storage box that i bought from i think i got it from wayfair in the end and i was so excited because it was going to be two-day delivery and it would get here and i'd be able to show you my room would be finished well um that thing happened that always happens sometimes that always ha i'm contradicting myself a lot and um, that thing happened where basically like you place an order and then for some reason, like a day later, they, they cancel it from their end for no reason other than they probably don't have it in stock or they can't deliver to your address or something. And so basically, I'm back to square one. I don't have round Ottoman storage and I'm slightly, I'm very annoyed by it. But I just thought, well, then maybe I won't get any. Isn't it actually mad that we're approaching the end of 2020, but it feels like it didn't even start? And you know what's even just more horrific is that we're going to get into 2021 everyone's like yeah new year woo but the thing is like it's not it's not getting better it's this 2021 is probably going to be worse in terms of like this pandemic situation and this unknown and the constant lockdown and not lockdown like i hate to break it to you but like people who are like oh 2020 is going i can't wait can't wait for 2021 like it's not going to disappear just because the new year has arrived do you know what i mean like the new year is literally next week so I hope you guys are all okay. If any of you guys are like um, worried about the gym because the gyms are closed, I know it's easier said than done, but home workouts, they just have to be our thing from now on. They just have to be our thing for the foreseeable. Um, and just think about it in the long run, you know, you're saving membership. You're saving membership money. Anyway, I'm in the room that Tusi used to stay in. This used to be Tusi's room. So if you notice, it's very plain and very boring right now. And that's because she took all of her gorgeous decor out, obviously, and took it to her new flat. I know I want it to still be a guest room because most people have like a double room for their guest room. I could do a double room upstairs, but I'm selfish and I want all the rooms upstairs for my, our own living. <laughs> so I thought this one could be the guest room. We never get more than one person stay in anyway, to be fair. So we only need a single in here. But then I was thinking over there, I am going to buy a sewing machine. Did I tell you already? I'm going to get a sewing machine. And this lockdown, obviously, it, it, look, if you want to set yourself goals and things to achieve by the end of lockdown, you go for it. But at the same time, if 
you can't and you're just struggling with just surviving lockdown every day, then your goal is to just survive lockdown and that's completely fine. Um, I think my new hobby, not new, it's an old hobby, but a hobby that I want to start again. So I'm just looking at the cat. A hobby that I want to get back into is sewing and making clothes um, and stuff like that. Because I've been designing Dina Tokia collection for, I've been working on it for about two years back and forth, figuring out if I'm even going to do production or am I going to just have it available for pre-order and make my pieces made to order so that there's no waste. Figuring out a bunch of stuff and it's really, really difficult to get it sorted. But I'm at the stage with Dina Tokia where I have my final pieces and they're about five pieces. You've seen a few of them. Uh, you've seen a lot of them actually on my Instagram, Dina Tokia Instagram stuff. I need to now shoot them and shoot like a campaign. I need to get a website up and running, but then I need to decide Am I going to put in a production order and make like a limited run and then make it available to you guys? Or am I going to do made to order? I don't know if I mentioned earlier, um, I Like Me, which is my other, um, which is my other brand, is we've set a launch date for it. And it's very, very soon. I will announce it when, I, when we've completely confirmed it. But basically for the whole of January, I need to be pretty much... Um, going a little bit quiet online just so that I can finalize a bunch of I Like Me stuff and bring that out finally to you guys. If you guys are new here, I Like Me is a brand that I launched over a year ago. Shall I tell you how it happened? I think I don't, only some of you will know how it really happened, but basically I came out with my merchandise line, which merchandise like YouTubers, they come out with like hoodies or sweatshirts with like designs on them and it can be personal to them. It's it's just cool merch, right? A bunch of different designs that we worked on and we produced it all ourselves. It wasn't with like a second party company or anything like that. Um, and it was really good. The designs were amazing, but one of the designs I came up with was the most popular one. It seemed to be like the only one that you guys were loving. And it was the black sweatshirt with the embroidered I like me on it. And it's a design that just came to me one day. And I remember sitting with, we had a small team at the time and I was like, I've always wanted to put I like me on a sweatshirt or I'm doubting myself. I'm constantly going, yeah, but who cares? Cause I like me. I'd say it to myself all the time in my head. And so I just envisioned it basically. Or somebody else in the team was like, oh, it would look really cool. Maybe if it's in like rainbow colors. I was like, yeah, let's try that. So they all sat down, we did the design and we came up with that, the I like me design. And it seemed to be the most popular one. And so I said to Sid, I was like, Sid, you know what? It's the most popular one. And it's my personal favorite one. Why don't we just scrap my whole merch line and we just have a brand called I Like Me because it's literally perfect and I, I believe in it and I love it and I can see it being. I have so much passion for I Like Me and I know we have we be barely done anything with it other than build a nice community online. But I literally see it being a lifestyle brand and I'm so excited by it. So we decided to hold it, keep the page running, keep the community factor going with I Like Me because we built a nice one where it's just all about mental health, physical health. It's just community vibe. I like me on Instagram, check it out. And I wanna do so much more with it. I wanna do a blog with it. I wanna get you guys involved in I like me. I wanna hear your stories. There's so much I wanna do with it. What we've been doing for the past year behind the scenes is working on how to scale it and how to make sure that when we do relaunch, we can keep it going and we can keep building it and we can keep bringing out new pieces so that's what we're finally able to do. And alhamdulillah, I'm so, so happy because I was getting to a stage where like, this is taking too long, especially when COVID hit, cause it delayed so much. I was like, it was supposed to take like three, four months, maybe six months max. But I was getting to a stage where he said, well, we were like, yo, this is not gonna happen. It's just taking too long. So many delays, people are losing interest, but we just kept going because I truly, truly believe in that brand. I like me, I, what I see for it is so much. You have no idea. And it's totally different to like Dina Torquilla, my clothing line because Dina Tokia is a place where I can design my crazy quirky outfits that only a tiny percentage of people enjoy or like, but I can get that creati creativity out there. I Like Me is like my, is a passion brand that me and Sid are both doing, where I have a community base, it's empowerment, it's the clothing that I want to wear on a daily. Dina Tokia is the clothing that I want to wear when I want to get my alter ego out or I want to be extra. Do you, do you understand what I mean? I like me is that everyday clothing that I find myself going, going to, but perfected. Like that we took ages perfecting the hoodie fit for it. And then it's got the message on there, 
which reminds me every day like oh, what anyone else thinks basically do you know what i mean where is this coming from why am i talking suddenly i wasn't planning on talking about i like me like this i cannot wait till it relaunches very very soon and you guys can get your hands on i like me pieces i can't wait to see you guys wearing i like me tagging me in it i, I just can't wait for you to actually like be a part of it properly and physically now rather than just on as an online base I can't wait to do all the ideas that we have for it. I really want to get you guys involved. I need to go get dressed. I need to do a quick workout and then I need to edit this vlog. I'll see you on the next video, guys, which hopefully might have more details. If I like me, okay? I'll see you on the next video. Bye!